Well, the hot weather is probably baking your lawn to a crisp. July simply has not been kind. Leslie Peck from Forsyth Cooperative Extension is here to talk about what you can do now to improve your lawn this fall. Good to see you. You too. All right, so if your lawn is looking kind of sad and miserable right now, should you be concerned? Um, if you've got a tall fescue lawn, probably don't be concerned right now because they're cool season grass, so they start to go dormant when it's really hot in the summer, which just means they've slowed down growing uh, for you it means you might be mowing a little less which is good uh, but your brown grass does not mean it's dead it should green back up in the fall all right so if you're not having to mow right now is there anything that you can do or uh, that you should be doing right now on the lawn yeah it's a good time to get ready because fall is the best time to renovate in a cool season lawn so one thing i recommend is taking a soil test so i brought a kit you're gonna take scoops of soil that are about four to six inches deep probably about 15 to 20 of those, mix them together, take out anything that's not soil. So if you've got grass clippings or roots or rocks, take those out and you're gonna put it in a soil test box, which you can get at your local extension office. And it's got a line, you gotta fill to the red line. So you fill it up, you'll fill out the form that goes with it and then you mail that in and they'll analyze it at a lab in Raleigh. All right, so now what is this soil test gonna tell you? Yeah, so they'll come back with two very important results. So the first is going to be a fertilizer recommendation, and it'll tell you what type of fertilizer and how much. And that's good to know. So if you're putting on a bunch of extra fertilizer, or if you fertilize when your grass doesn't need it for a cool season lawn, you don't need to fertilize in the summer because it's not using it. So wait till the fall. And if you apply extra, that's just going to run off and get into waterways and it could waste be of money. pollution <laughs> and it's a waste of money. So, but if you've got your recommendation, you can go with that. Now, the other thing you're going to get is a lime recommendation. And a lot of people call us thinking they need to apply lime every year and that's not true. Mm -hmm. So your soil test will tell you if you need lime or not, and that will adjust the pH to the right pH for your soil. You don't want to just put lime on because you could raise the pH too high, which is bad for your lawn. All right, what else should we be doing heading into the fall? Uh, another thing to think about if you're going to renovate and overseed, which usually you do every two or three years with a fescue lawn because it gets kind of patchy, you want to think about what variety of seed you're going to get. And NC State does research on different varieties and they look at what the best tall fescue cultivar is. So I've actually put an article on our website. It's forsyth.ces.ncsu.edu, and it'll take you to that list. So you wanna look for a seed blend that carries something with those varieties in it. And you do wanna blend with multiple varieties because some of them will do well, say, in a shadier part of your yard, and some of them might do better over in the sunny side. Now you're going to make us all grass smart. So yeah. what, if people have more questions, what should they do? How do they reach out to you? Yeah, if you don't go to our website, you can always call us at 336-703-2850 or stop by our office in Winston-Salem. All right, good stuff. Thank you. We appreciate Thanks. you.